welcome to my channel so today I have a haul for you but this is a haul where I am actually analyzing my pieces trying to determine whether or not I can see myself loving them in the future as well as whether I can get three different outfits from these pieces I am doing this because I am not 100% in love with them and I love to feel good about my pieces whenever I invest in a piece or an item I like to feel that I could get lots of wares out of them or I can pair them with different um, bottoms or in this case it's bottoms so I'll show you them and I'll pair them and these pairings will definitely determine whether or not I keep them since I am not a hundred percent in love with them so let's see how it goes and I'll tell you my decision at the end of the pairings so the first piece is this black and white leaf print that I got from Zara and this is a piece that <laughs> it appears to be one of Zara's best sellers and while I love the pattern I am struggling with the style and the length of it on me so it's it's a beautiful nice piece but sometimes no matter how beautiful a piece is if it's not working for you it's just not working for you so I'll be pairing this with a casual piece two work bottoms a skirt and uh, trousers and that would help me decide whether or not I am I'll be keeping this so here are my pairings so for my first pairing I'll be pairing it with a similar pattern print pants and this is a pants that I love absolutely love as well because it's light and it's flowy it's wide leg and I really need to see how well it pairs with this one because I didn't find the bottom to this one at Zara. Let's see how well it pairs with this and we'll take it from there. Okay. Hmm. Well, the combo is quite okay. I mean, I can rock this. But, yeah, I think I'm trying a bit too hard with this. I'm trying to make it work by even accessorizing and the length is still too awkward it's very awkward for me I'm, I'm doing i am not in it i am fixing whenever i do this it means it's not working so i think this might be a no seriously but i have to try it casual my very casual pants that i my favorite booty and this camisole and this pairing is a very common pairing for me so if it goes with it well successfully it definitely passes the test so let's see I am really trying to love this guys I am really really trying but it's difficult uh, Ignore the tag because I'm gonna take it back, so I'm not taking it off. I am tying it, I am knotting it, <laughs> trying to see if it's gonna work. I am even putting it, draping it over my shoulder, but it just doesn't seem to be working. So, yeah. This might be a no for me. <laughs> Let's see. 
pairing for this top would be with one of my favorite summer pencil skirt and this is a gorgeous pencil skirt with the zipper at the back let's see how well it pairs with it this is my all-time favorite combo guys a nice cami with my pencil skirt and i always like to wear something complimentary with it because it is a great outfit in my humble opinion but if you don't get the right shirt jacket duster top whatever you want to throw over it if you don't get the right throw over it just would not work and i am really trying with this one because i knotted it i actually turned it into a wrap top and secured it at the back i even undo it again it's not working <laughs> my last pairing for this blouse which would definitely seal the deal is with my black pants as well this is another of my classic favorite all-time pairings and looks for the office and because it's sleeveless I definitely have to get the outerwear right it has to be done right guys and this is why I look for items like these that I could just throw over my basic pairings but it must look fab it has to really really work with my pairing otherwise it would completely throw the look that i am going for it would just throw it off and nobody needs that and again i'm trying i am tying it on doing it but that look is a bit too casual for what i'm going for so while it might work for somewhere else maybe after hours it may not work for me this wrap around may work but it's a bit snug again under the arm so i'm having difficulty i'm having difficulties lifting my arms so this may not work <laughs> sorry guys i don't think so <laughs> second piece is also another piece from zara and it's this piece this is an absolute gorgeous piece because it incorporates all the colors that I I love I love green anyone who knows me know that I love green it's one of my favorite colors the problem I have again with this piece is that it's a bit short it falls at an awkward position on me that I don't absolutely love so I am not a hundred percent sure about it I bought the pants you may have seen it from my previous haul and I fell in love with the pants immediately it's high-waisted it's long it's flowy it's it's just elegant it's just a gorgeous piece and I had no sleepless nights at all over this but for some reason I am struggling with deciding whether or not I should keep this so my test for most items that I'm deciding on is to see how well it pairs with my workwear as well as my casual wear and mainly my workwear because I buy these pieces mainly for work so that they can also transition from my desk to the bar or the patio for happy hours. So if they don't pass that test, it's a no-no for me. So let's see how this goes. So here are my pairings for this piece. I'll be pairing them with this 
pass this is a pants that I wear to work throughout the summer so it definitely must be able to be paired with this it's one of my favorite green pants so if I wear it loose this is what it looks like not sure I love it I don't think so <laughs> Let's see it tucked in. I, I am definitely liking it tucked in. But as you can see, it is bulky and it's adding lots of lines on this pants. And this is a pants that you have to show the style. So it means that you need a top that is a bit more lightweight and that would definitely give bulk because no woman likes the belly and waist area to look bulky. So this is my problem with it right now. But alternatively, you can definitely undo it and show the cami underneath and it can transition well from the desk to the bar. So I like that. However, the verdict is still out on this piece. <laughs> of course, I'll be pairing it with its twin partner, with its pairing partner, the Palazzo High Waisted Pants. Really need to see how well it pairs with it. Because whenever I pair items, I don't often like to pair sets together. I like to separate them because sometimes I find that they are a bit much. They can really be too much for the eyes to take in, so I like to break them up. But let's see this pairing, and if it works, excellent. If it doesn't, that's definitely a no no. <laughs> and of course, I have to try it with this. I love this pants. Oh my god. So let's see how it works. For this top would of course be my pencil skirt. I'll be pairing my pencil skirt with this to see how well it pairs. Let's do this. I would definitely love to wear it alone so let's see how it looks by itself and of course oh it's exhausting doing up this top I mean seriously look at all the buttons and how tiny they are and god forbid that you lose one of these because unless zara intends to supply you with a lifetime supply of these it's not worth it trust me oh so finally it's all tucked in 
and it doesn't look too badly I must admit it looks great and that's because um, this skirt is a bit more sturdy and heavy it's actually a jeans material um, but that doesn't mean it doesn't add bulk as you have just seen as exactly right where my hands are it's bulky right there but it does look better tucked in but another issue I realized that if I lift my hands up it would come falling right out so I think the best option is to actually secure it with a belt on the outside and give it this nice peplum look and peplum as you know is flattering on almost every shape so this might work but probably not with this skirt because it hides the gorgeous details of this skirt it hides the zipper exposed zipper detail that I absolutely love and it sort of not give me the look and effect that I am going for and because of the bat wing as well it could make it look feel a bit too snug huh. yeah um, this has to go yeah uh, I'm trying it I'm working it guys but it's just not working for me so yeah this is a no-no so that's how my decisions are made also black is a staple in my work wardrobe so it must be able to pair with my high-waisted and wide leg pants um, let's see how it works with this see now the issue i have with this is it's already losing its buttons and when you lose these types of buttons because they're so unique and you can't buy them anywhere so it means that you have to replace all these buttons here on the sleeves and all the way down here and as I said before, unless Zara decides to give me a lifetime supply of buttons for this this might be a no because who is going to be able to keep track? I think they only left one. Like, they should have put a pouch of about probably 10 or 20 of these. Because they seem to just pop off at any time at their own leisure. So, this might be a problem it's definitely not working in its favor still unsure I definitely have to really think about this um, a lot I mean they are on sale so it's not like that they are exorbitantly highly priced so but still it's money it's my heart on money and I like to know that I am a hundred percent satisfied whenever I invest in something but 
that's what it looks like and hope this video was useful and that you consider these tips if you like whenever you're investing in any pieces for your workwear and casual wear because I often like to think that whenever I buy my pieces they can go straight from work to a get together with my friends on the patio or at the bar especially um, in the fall and in the summer so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll definitely see you in my next video